We are confident that those responsible for the death of Sergeant Roque will be brought to justice. A person of interest is in custody tonight following the death of a soldier whose body was found on Monday night at Fort Leonard Wood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Drakis. My co-anchor Lucas has the night off. Officials at Fort Leonard Wood said in a news conference this morning, Sergeant Sarah Roque's body was found in a dumpster near base housing for single soldiers. Her death is being investigated as a homicide. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live in studio tonight after digging into the details surrounding this investigation. Mitchell, that person's identity has not yet been released. Megan, officials say anyone involved in the investigation is, quote, secured at the base, and her unit continues to work as normal. David Cruz, communications director for the League of United Latin American Citizens, also tell me, tells me that Roque's family is currently in close contact with leadership at Fort Leonard Wood. Unfortunately, the outcome of our efforts was one that we had all hoped and prayed would not happen. Later that evening, Sarah's body was discovered. The search for Sergeant Sarah Roque began Monday morning when she did not show up for a unit's formation. Army officials claim her unit immediately began looking for her. Within three hours, a be on the lookout notice asking for help finding Roque was sent out. Later that evening, Roque's body was discovered in a dumpster near a base housing for single soldiers. The Indiana native served as a bridge crew member and mine dog handler. Sarah was a soldier and a leader in the 5th Engineer Battalion, described by her peers as tough and proud of everything she do, did and proud to serve our country, that which she did with honor and distinction. I uh, had the opportunity to meet with her parents yesterday, um, and one of the things that they reinforced is she has maintained contact uh, with them regularly up until this incident. Fort Leonard Wood trains over 70,000 soldiers each year with a focus on engineering and military police. Roque's death adds to a growing list of sudden deaths at the base. On August 27th, Staff Sergeant Isabel Ixum passed away at the base. Her mother posted on social media that the family still has no answer. In 2019, a federal grand jury indicted Army Staff Sergeant Kevin Long after prosecutors alleged the 40-year-old beat a 2-year-old girl to death at an illegal daycare run by his wife at the military installation. In 1977, four high school students on a double date near Fort Leonard Wood were stopped by an MP officer, Johnny Lee Thornton. Thornton handcuffed and shot the two boys in a military vehicle before raping and shooting the two girls. One of the girls survived. Roque marks at least the third Hispanic woman in the last four years to be killed on a military base. In 2020, 23-year-old Katia Aguilar was found dead outside her home in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, with 68 stab wounds. The same year, specialist Vanessa Guillen was reported missing from Fort Hood in Texas. Investigators later discovered Guillen had been killed in the unit's armory room. Mitchell, thank you. We reached out to Fort Leonard Wood for comment, but have yet to hear back.